If you're a gaming fan, you know that today has been one of the craziest days that we have ever had and just like the, the totality of gaming. I mean, there are days where E3 is going on and we have the Sony and Microsoft press conferences where they announce all their new games that I feel like have not been as hyped as today has been. This has been an absolutely insane day. Hold on, let me see where the squad's going. Looks, oh, oh, tilted. All right, boys, it's gonna get hot. Today has been one of the craziest days ever. So it starts off with a brand new Fortnite update. We get a new limited time mode. We get uh, some new skins, stuff like that. That's small fries compared to everything else that happened. After that, we get the COD Black Ops 4 official announcement as well as the reveal of the release date, which is crazy. We've never had a COD announced that early before. So that's insane. Then we hear about Division 2 coming out. Then we hear about a few other things. I think, you know, like Super Smash Bros coming to, to the Switch and stuff like that, which is obviously a big deal. But um, all of that honestly, in my opinion, does not compare to the news that just came out a couple minutes ago. And that's the fact that Fortnite, the game you guys are seeing on screen right here, the game that's taking over the world that everybody's talking about, is coming to mobile. It's coming to iOS and Android. I don't even know what to say. Like, you just kind of have to leave a pause after that because this game has already taken over the world. Everybody's talking about it. I mean, obviously all the gamers and, and people like that are talking about it, but celebrities are talking about it. Athletes are talking about it. Literally, even like the nightly news, CNBC, you know, CNN, the stuff your parents are watching, they're talking about how Fortnite is taking over. And now it's going to become even more accessible. Now you don't even need a console or a PC to play it. All you need is a mobile phone, which is something that literally everybody has. So like this, seriously... I'm, I'm worried. Like, this is literally going to take over the world. I'm excited, but I'm also worried. Because this, I, it's just, it's going to be nuts, bro. Get this hidden chest back here. We'll take that. How's the squad doing? We've got 17 alive still. Not too bad. I'll take this as well. But yeah, dude, I mean, Fortnite can't be stopped already as it is. And now it's going to be an even bigger deal. All right, let's try to find some action here. I want to I wanna get in some fights. Looks like a lot of our team's over here. A couple of guys are going down. I'm going to try to go help them out. Ooh. Our team's really struggling over here, dude. It looks like. He's down. Got guys over here. He's knocked. Alright, we'll take it. Go up here and get his loot. Blue AR. Don't take it. Oh, dang it. I was going to drop my other AR and pick it up. All right. You didn't even do any work for that AR. You're welcome for saving your life. Little scumbag. I hear a chest below us. All right. I'm going to drop down and get this. But, um, yeah, dude, it's just like, it's, it's going to be so nuts, dude. I... I, I honestly don't even know what to say. Now, Epic just made a post about this. And the crazy thing is, is they've said that they want to make it just like it is on consoles and just like it is on PC. It's not going to be like a, a slimmed down, fewer features, missing some things mobile type of game. It is going to be a full on version of Fortnite on your phone. Now, obviously, there is a bit of a difference there because you can't control your character as well. You can't aim as well, that sort of thing when you're using your thumbs on a touch screen versus on analog sticks or on a mouse. But it, it's still, it's going to be the full version of the game. It's going to be the full map. It's going to be all the characters, all the skins, all the weapons. The weekly updates, they said, that happen every single week are still going to be coming out on phones. Like, it's literally, it's going to be no different than if you're playing it on your console. It's just the way that you control your, your characters. So, like, that, that in itself is going to be absolutely insane. Like, I, I know that there's already a, there's a Battle Royale um, mobile game. I think it's called Day, Day, Days of Survival or something like that. I don't know. I haven't really played it. I know they have a pretty extensive game. It's kind of a copy of PUBG. But to think about having the entire Fortnite game all on mobile, that's just nuts, bro. All right, hold on. Let's let's go up here. I'm going to go flank this guy. Rules of Survival. That's what it's called. Sorry, guys. I haven't... I mean, I've, I've seen it. I've seen it, but I haven't played it. Just can't hit that guy, I guess. All right, I'm going to push up. We got to get something better than a great burst, bro. I'm hurting out here for loot. There's got to be some stuff over here. Is that a purple scar? It's a purple tack. I'll take it. All right, we'll pick this up. Grab that. Swap that out. 
I guess I'll take the gray, the gray AR. Oh shoot, we got the storm coming in. Woo, woo, our butt's gonna get toasted. Watch out teammates, be careful. You don't wanna go that way. Now the other crazy thing is, is they said that they're gonna be bringing crossplay to it as well. So if you guys don't know right now, you can actually crossplay between PlayStation 4 and PC. And uh, I mean, that's, that's a good deal for like, some people like to play on PC, some people like to play on console and, and you know, you could still play with your friends even if they're on a different platform, which is nice. Now they're gonna be bringing it to phones as well, to mobile. So people who play on PS4 are also gonna be able to play with people on PC, are also gonna be able to play with people on iOS, are also gonna be able to play with people on iPads, same as iOS, but like iPhone and iPad are both being supported here and people with Android phones. Now, Xbox, I don't think is gonna be included just because they don't allow that cross-platform play period, but literally all of these other platforms are all gonna be able to do this, which is just, dude, it's, it's so nuts. All right, there's a chest down there. Oh, there's a guy going out to loot. He's done. I want the, yes, I got the kill shot. There's another one out there, get the other one. Focus the other one, boys. He's a little bit tougher to hit. I'm gonna go grab this chest. But yeah, all of those platforms, iPhone, iPad, Android, PlayStation and PC can all play together, which is just do that. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be so nuts. I, I can't believe it. Oh gosh, oh, those are teammates. All right, we've got guys in the lake going to the left. We're gonna try to go get them now. I really hope I get credit for that kill of that guy out there. I hope he wasn't revived. Oh, the storm's coming. Oh. That's, uh, yeah, this is, this is going to be a major problem. Have the storms been going really quick or am I, I've been so focused on talking to you guys, I wasn't even paying attention. But yeah, dude, this is, this is totally going to take over the world. And the question is, when does it come out? So starting in a few days on March 12th, we're actually going to get, stop shooting my teammates, boy. You're down. I'm going to watch out for all these guys here. Nice. Got a couple more knocks. We're gonna have plenty of kills this game, I guess. But um, starting March 12th, you're gonna be able to sign up for kind of like an invite code type deal. So not everybody's gonna get in right away. I don't know when the actual full release is gonna be, but it's gonna start with invite codes. And so some people get randomly selected and they're gonna have rollouts probably like every you know couple times a day, they're gonna send out more codes. And then you actually, when you get selected, you also get, um... oh shoot, we are 100% dying here, boys. 110%. When you get selected, you also get friend codes that you can invite your friends as well. So you're probably gonna get an additional like three or four codes you can give to your three or four best friends and they can play as well, which is kind of cool. But um, yeah, so they're gonna roll it out slowly like that. I think it's supposed to be coming to iPhone before it comes to Android. And then a couple of months from now, it's probably gonna have the full release where everybody can get on. But I, I like that they're doing it that way. They're gonna keep it so it's, it's you know, kind of, not everybody getting on all at once to where it completely ruins the experience and it's super laggy and stuff like that. I think it's a good move by Epic. I did not mean to jump right there and I'm dead. Shoot boys, we died. But really the, the point of this game was not the gameplay. Hope we'll, we'll wait and we'll see if our team can clutch this up. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, man, it's just, I, I, I don't know. That's pretty much all the details we have is that it's coming to iOS first, starting on the 12th, you can sign up to, to get codes. They're gonna go out randomly. And, uh, and that's what we're working with. But it's gonna be the full version of the game, bro. Like everything you love about Fortnite is gonna be on your phone. And honestly, I'm a little bit worried. Oh shoot, there's no chance we're winning this game. We've got three guys alive and one of them is down already. So uh, that's not happening. But uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm just a little bit worried. Like thinking about what I would have been like if I was in school, thinking about like as obsessed as I am with Fortnite right now, if Fortnite was available to me on my phone, I wouldn't really be paying attention in classes. Or like, you know, people who go to work and should be paying attention to work. Like, Fortnite is literally, it, it's already, I, I kind of plan my day around it sometimes about when I'm gonna be able to play. And if you could play all the time, it's just, it's, it's never gonna stop. I, I don't even know what to say. This could be a really good thing for Fortnite. It could be a really bad thing for society. Hopefully it doesn't burn people out on Fortnite. But I'm just, I'm, I'm saying like, if you guys are in school, please, still pay attention in classes. That's really, really important. Fortnite will always be there for you when you leave, but I mean, I'm not saying I would blame you either at the same time. Like knowing me back in the day, oh dude, I don't know. It, it, society's gonna be in a weird, weird place after this comes out, seriously. I think this is gonna be way bigger than any of us ever expect. So um, 
There you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Wish I could have got you guys a win, but unfortunately 20v20, it's kind of out of your hands a little bit. It's a fun game mode, but it's not my favorite. Let me know what you guys think about Fortnite coming to mobile down in the comments. Do you guys plan on playing it? Do you plan on downloading it? Uh, obviously, I'm going to try to get a code as soon as I possibly can, and hopefully I can get a couple of codes that I can share with you guys when it does launch. So make sure you guys, you know, look out on March 12th to sign up on that website. I might even do a reminder for you guys on that day just in case you haven't done it yet, but... Uh, very, very exciting times ahead. Fortnite is totally taking over the world, man. It's nuts. Hope you guys enjoyed. More Fortnite coming soon. I realize there's a bunch of it today, so I'm going to have more other stuff coming tomorrow along with Fortnite. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.